All right, I'm super excited to paint this one. It's a limited edition, Jakob Bugmanson, uh, the 11th, I think it is. Anyway, it's a beautiful model. Let's just get straight into painting it. As always, I'll be using the Army Paint and War Paint, and these are the colours that I'll be using, give or take. If I make any adjustments, I'll let you know. The colour scheme I'm going for is basically the same as the box art. Whether or not I can do it justice, well, we'll have to see, but I am confident in the colours that I've chosen. In my last video I didn't really mention what primer I used, but I used Citadel's Chaos Black. And with all that out of the way, let's begin. To begin with, I dry brushed some ash grey onto the beard. I did this because I thought it would be easier to start with a beard. Dry brushing it with a painted face might get a bit messy. Next, I did the base coat of the cushioning behind his head. For this, I used Grimoire Purple. Sticking with Grimoire Purple, I did the rest of his clothing too. Next up, time to tackle his bronzy, goldy suit of armour. then highlighted certain areas with greedy gold and then it was time to add a wash of dark tone to bring out the contrast. Also, I carefully dry brushed some plate mail metal onto the armour, giving the impression that it was well worn. I feel the effect I achieved here was pretty good, but why don't you let me know what you think in the comments below. I then added further detail in silver and also used mummy robes for the gloves and the frothy head of his beard. Then I used soft tone to darken the tone of the gloves and also add contrast. I also used it on the beard and highlighted the top with mummy robes. I used a mixture of Barbarian Flesh and Matte White to give me the skin tone for his head. To complete the head, I used a wash of Flesh Tone and also used a little bit of Warlock Purple on the lips, nose and the cheeks. I achieved this by using a very small amount of purple on my brush, basically a very mild dry brush. And last of all, I highlighted the very tops of the head and the tops of his eyebrows and the top of his nose and everything with the same flesh tone that I used before. So now let's move on to what I think is the coolest part of the model, which is the keg. completing the base coat of leather brown, it was time to move on to a wash. For this, I used dark tone. Next, I used weapon bronze and plate mail metal for all the metal bits on top, except for the barrel parts, 
which I had a different effect in mind which I'll come to later. For now though, I'd just like to say that my brushwork has improved so much just from the last miniature that I painted and I feel that if I had painted this one in my last video instead I would not have been this precise with my brushwork. Now it was time for another wash of dark tone. Gunplate metal once again, I dry brushed all the metal pieces, including the supports of the barrel, to give it a dark sort of metal look. After this, I mixed some leather brown and mummy rose, which I used to create some subtle highlights on the wood of the barrel. Now that I'd finished the main parts, I thought I'd skip the clean up and final details. Let's just get on with the reveal. There we go guys, a job well done. Well, two jobs actually, as you can see. I bought two versions of the model, well the same version, but I made two versions of the model because I didn't want to ruin this model by trying out magnets for the first time for the different head types, so I painted up two versions. Let me know which one you think looks better. I personally like the helmetless, 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 helm, helm, helmetlessness. Helmetless. Hel Helmetless. Helmetless. Thank you. <laughs> Look. So there we go, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to subscribe. Please do, because then I'll reach 100 subscribers eventually and be able to have my own link to put in other things. But anyway, I will have more videos coming out very soon. So stay tuned for that. And um, that's about it. So have a nice day. Peace off.